There is a water canister. I'm going to put water in there. So just a few milliliters of water. And I've put the ultrasonic sensors and equipment into that. I've glued it in with Araldite here. And then the idea is that canister will fit in here. And I've got some holes there for the steam to come out. So I'm not sure yet where I'm going to position this. It'll either be under two of those holes or in the middle. So it comes out under all four. But it will condense on the plastic if I do that centrally. So it might be better because just coming out of two of those holes. Not sure yet. I'll experiment and see. And also I've taken off one of these details. I've got it there. And I'm going to put it onto this which is a switch I've put in. So that will enable me to switch on and off the system. The ultrasonic will sit there and here I've got room for a battery. And that should all fit in quite nicely in amongst everything else that is already in this loco. I'll remove the polystyrene of course. I've connected the 3.7 volt supply and put some water in there. So I need a hatch now that it's already switched on. So when it has enough water, there it go. I've just filled this up with 20 drops of water and I'm seeing how long it lasts. quite a big hole there. I've had to make the hole bigger than the two little holes in order for the steam to come out. Otherwise the holes will get blocked and stop the steam from coming out. Here is a diesel type 56. I'm using the PP3 for power and it is using ultrasonics to create steam. And as you can see, it moves. The lights still go on the train too. Isn't that amazing? So what I've now done, I've used a little piece of wire mesh and I've altered the size of that hole to make it Look more realistic again. But I just want to see if it still goes. <laughs> this has now been going for 17 minutes. That was 19 minutes and I think it's just run out of yeah, just run out of water. should go again. Yeah it does as soon as you put some water in. I've just added a few drops. Great! So I put 20 drops in. There was already some water in there to be fair but 20 drops seemed to increase the water level and that lasted 19 minutes so it's about a milliliter a minute. But I think if this was a sealed unit fitted in there the electronics and the battery here, or in fact just the electronics and then two wires with the resistor going to the 12 or 16 volt power supply. And that resistor would only give this electronics 3.7 volts. That would be enough to power this, keep that all sealed. Yeah, and the model would stay relatively safe. <laughs>